Hi, my name is Austin, just like the city in which I was born and raised, good old Austin, Texas, and I'm an American playing American football in Germany. Uh, I play for the team whose mascot is an animal, and we're based out of that German city that starts with a letter and ends in Berg. Anyway, I love guns, expensive college tuition, and the taste of freedom that lingers in your mouth after you eat four pounds of medium, rare steak, and a fried Oreo together in one sitting. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about Germany. So if you are a fan of the good old land of beer, bread, and spaghetti ice, take a seat, sit back, relax, and enjoy the commentary. This pretzel is so stale. I bought this yesterday for the joke. I did not think it would be in this condition at this time. All right, so first thing I'll talk about is German language. German is still hard. There, I said it. Der die das and German grammar is just a, a, a nightmare. Of course, I haven't been studying a lot in the two years since I've been gone. Um, so this is kind of my fault, but oh my gosh, just trying to like jump back in and remember like the way sentences are formatted and try to put any articles on anything is just a nightmare. Next up is wash closets in train stations and airports or anywhere you have to go where you have to kind of like pay to get in. This is such a good idea and I just love how bathrooms um, in public places like train stations are gonna be clean. So that's a huge thumbs up from me still. I forgot kind of how awesome that was. Bummer that you have to pay, but really nice that it's really clean. So I'm coming back to Germany at pretty much the start of the summer, but it's still pretty hot where I'm at right now in, in the area around Nuremberg. Um, and just like I was here last time, it's still amazing to me that there are no like box fans like fans aren't a huge thing neither is air conditioning now i do want to ask the german audience a question here and say like what's up with that just like what like what do why do you not have air conditioning it obviously gets hot here um, i was talking to my host dad and he was saying that like historically germany hasn't gotten as hot as it is recently so that could be part of it but like is there something else that i'm missing that you guys don't have air conditioning i mean obviously it's cold here for longer parts of the year but like it's gotta be worth it to just have it on standby for the summer. Cause like, it gets hot here, it, it does. So a few weeks ago, I spent 10 days traveling through the Baltic states of Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia. And as we were going through these cities, I kept looking out uh, for, for bakeries. Cause living in Germany for a year, I just got so used to how many bakeries there were everywhere. Um, and now that I'm back in Germany, and I'm so appreciative of how many bakeries there are. And like, there are, there are so many. Like, you can drive around anywhere, walk through any city. Like, there was one point, uh, I was in uh, Aschaffenburg a few days ago. There's a video for that. And I could stand in one place in the center of the city and look and see literally four bakeries within, like, line of sight. So the area I'm staying at right now in Germany is outside of any urban area. It's very rural with lots of farmland and there's like patches of dwarfs all over. Dwarfs, I said, not, not dwarfs, dwarfs. Uh, so there's patches of dwarfs all around and um, I really love this feel of, of Southern Germany. It's very much what you think of as an American when you think of Germany. Uh, but anyway, the logistics of it are really interesting. And what I mean by that is that these towns are obviously not designed for cars or through traffic based on how old they are and so now the days they have to accommodate for all like the traffic coming from like the areas around them growing bigger and bigger uh, so this is uh, this is pretty interesting because like there's lots of like one-way roads and like really really thin alleyways that we have to drive through that sometimes i'm kind of just like holding my seat if we're gonna make it uh, more than that it's just kind of like the speeds you go in and out of these places so it'll be a small town so you'll drive in super fast because it's germany and then you slow down, zip around, and then speed back out. There's some corners that are just so incredibly tight. I'm just amazed that we, like, there's not more wrecks in these areas. So I'd forgotten how critical Germans are um, on issues of privacy or security. What I mean by this is that I've been filming in German cities for the past couple days, like going around vlogging myself, and on several like notable occasions, people have come up to me mad at me asking like demanding to know why i've taken their picture and what i plan to do with it and like why i thought i could do that um and so like first of all i had to, i wanted to say like yo like chill relax you're standing in front of a church right now and i'm taking a shot from like 20 30 feet back uh, but it was just interesting because i don't think in america you would run into that issue the same way 
totally understandable, different culture here, but it was just something that I kind of like had to get readjusted to. And by the end of the day, I was kind of asking people if they were in the vicinity, if I could like film either them or what they were doing. Um, so that was just something I had to kind of get used to again. So I had noticed this last time I was in Germany and I absolutely meant to put it into one of my videos, um, but I completely forgot. And that is, is that like when a, a stoplight, you know, when a traffic light is going from red back to green, it quickly goes to yellow first. Now where I've, where I've lived in the US, this does not happen. The lights just go straight from red to green. So this I think is a really cool difference that has a bit of utility just to kind of notify drivers that like, hey, in one second you're gonna be driving. So the next thing I wanna talk about are the road signs on the Autobahn that have like a small graphic and then the name of the city that's at like the next exit. I find this to be very interesting in the US, at least in the places where I've lived, we don't have this. And this is pretty cool because it's kind of like a thumbnail for the city you're about to go to. So speaking of the Autobahn, um, I can't imagine a future version of myself that sees Ausfahrt on the highway and doesn't laugh a little bit. Um, of course, you know, it's super childish and yes, in some capacities, I uh, have the humor of a 12 year old, uh, but it's just hilarious. Like the, the, the word fart is in the German language and is used pretty often. And there's like every single marker on the highway has fart in it. Uh, I remember my, my, my German teacher when I was at a language school getting pretty, pretty mad at me every time because I would disrupt class every time we went over the verb fahren, just a fart. <laughs> Uh, it's too good. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna talk about is German radio, and I'm going to use the example of Antenna Bayern, which uh, from, for, from an American perspective, this German radio station plays the strangest assortments of songs. Like they've got music from like the 70s and 80s, like not even hits that are necessarily big in the US uh, from, from my experience of listening to 70s and 80s music, um, as well as like some punk 90s stuff, um, as well as like, they play like Paradise. Like I've, I've heard that song on German radio like once a week when I was living here and I did, I heard it on the radio the other day. Um, and also like the kind of electronic music that Germany is into is just like, it's super okay. Like, I, in my opinion, it all just kind of like blends together and there's not a lot of variation um, on the music played by the radios here. This next thing is actually in praise of the German language. Um, I absolutely love how whenever there's a KN in German, both the K and the N are heard in the word. So like in English, we have words like knife and night, which both have KNs, but only the N is used. I think if English adopted the, the German way of doing this, that we would just have more interesting words. Like I would just love to say knife or knight more than, more than anything. That's like, if I had one wish right now, that's what I would wish for. Actually, I'd wish for 10 wishes and I'd use one of my wishes on that. And then I'd use another one of the wishes for 100 wishes and I would keep doing that until I was just a genie myself. So my final comment is going to be on German windmills. What's the deal with them, you know? Is there any controversy around windmills? Cause like, they seem pretty neutral out there, but I'm sure there's like dark secrets behind windmills in Germany, so. Thank you for watching the video. Um, I hope um, you found something here interesting or at the very least something you could comment on down in the section below, which I encourage a lot because the more I can learn about Germany, the, the better I, the better person I can be. I always enjoy my time here so much. I'm very much a fan of Germany, but I'll be back soon, uh, but until then, Thank you for watching. Maybe I already said that. See you around and ciao.